Hey there to all fellow commanders. Uh, this is Desperado421, and I'm going to show you where to go to sell your commodities once you've mined them, and what third-party sources to use to find where to sell them at the best price. So we're going to start with the first one, which is EDDB. This is EDDB.io. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to commodities. So we're going to click on commodities here. And once we've clicked on commodities here, we need to find the commodity that we're going to use. So we're going to use uh, from the video that I made before uh, with GCRV 1568, which has a painite overlap. So we're going to use painite for this one here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down, not to metals, but we're going to go down to minerals here. And we're going to look at painite. And if you look here, here's painite. If you go across here, the galactic average is 52,000, uh, but the highest sell point is 350,000. Okay, so we're going to click on painite here. And it tells you that Ross... Uh, was it 780 here is selling it for 350,000 the demand is 2,782 it's a medium landing pad so no large ships and the last time someone had bought something in here the last time it the, the uh, location has updated has been an hour so sometimes the uh, different ticks for this here uh, it could be 15 minutes, it could be however long, but if somebody uh, dumps all of the stuff, all of their stuff at one pot one time while you're in transit, you could re uh, reach there and the demand could be a lot lower. So uh, this we'll just click on Fossil Terminal here and we can look at its market. And we'll go down here to Painite which will be under minerals and there's painite right there is the total uh, the total amount for each ton and the galactic average and the demand right there okay and if you have anything else like maybe uh, let's say since you're in that location you have either osmium or you have uh, platinum which is also sells really high you could also sell your platinum here for 279 which is not a bad price and your osmium for 234 which is also not a bad price so you'd be able to sell all three of those types of items at this one location so now what we're going to do is we're going to move over to um, another tool and this does uh, many things not just for commodities but uh, edtools.cc and edtools.cc what you're going to do is you want to go to minor tools Okay, you're going to put in your reference system, which is GCRV space 1568, and we are going to put in Painite. So now this tells you right here, since we are in this system, and this is the system where uh, the AB1 ring is where the hotspot is that most people know where to mine here. Uh, we can go to Ross 780 and look, the price is changed uh, slightly here. So here's the price here and it's 104 light years away. So if we come down here and we look at uh, action, this is for action ring right there. Uh, it says that uh, it is 1.4 light years away. Here's the going price, and both of these are inside the same system there. And then the demand, and how long it's been since the last person has, uh, what is it, uh, sold there, and where it's updated. And then the closest hotspot, hot and the uh, location there. So this is another tool you can use to uh, sell items as well. So not just necessarily painite. This one here does painite, low temperature diamonds, void opals, benwinite, serendibite, muscovite, platinum, and osmium. Um, I don't think that they have other 
items here, but uh, this one is if you're definitely going painite mining or you're going platinum mining or even doing some core mining, uh, this is definitely a good, uh, good system to use. So the next one we're going to use is Inara. And if you have a fleet carrier, Inara is nice because Inara updates uh, the items that are inside your fleet carrier at the same time. So, but, the, but Inara pulls its data from um, EDDB. So the majority of the, uh, the uh, commodities and the information from the commodity section is going to be pulled from uh, EDDB. So using one or the other is your choice. Uh, depending on which UI you prefer, uh, just pick, uh, pick the one that's right for you. Normally I use Inara because I have a fleet carrier and allows me to check my fleet carrier and do other stuff as well. So first thing we're going to do here is we're going to go to Galaxy. Then we're going to go to Commodities. And then we're going to stay in this Common Commodities right here. And now we're going to scroll down till we get to Metals or minerals and we're gonna look for painite. So here we got painite here. This one is telling you the average sell price and the max sell. So we click on painite and this one tells you the best imports. So it's saying that uh, this location right here in Mandara is uh, the best location. And this distance is telling you for, so when you, when you put in your information into Inara, it tells you from what location your ship is in game to that location. Now, the important thing to keep in mind is this uh, demand section here for the quantity, the demand quantity. So let's say, hey, I wanna go get the best price. So you're looking at Mandra here to go to this uh, terminal and it's a medium landing pad, and it's uh, 1,000, uh, what is it? Not 1,000, 127 light seconds from the star. And you're saying, hey, that's a great sell price. The only problem is, is that the demand quantity is 321, which means, and if you scroll over this, you'll see, uh, the price may be lower then displayed if you have more than 80 units of this commodity in your cargo hold. So that means that if you're going to land here to try and sell, if you have more than 80 units of painite, you're probably going to get a lower price than the 346. So it's better to come down here and let's say you have Fossum Terminal, what we saw before here, they want 2,700 and 82, which means you can hold 695 units total before uh, the price goes down and you can get this price right here. So make sure that you're checking to see how many units you can carry in here. And it's also a good idea to, uh, what is it, reset the page just in case some of the numbers change. And this is for your best imports. Now, if you're looking to buy Paynite to resell, you would go to best exports. And you'll see basically all the fleet carriers here are selling it. So you can fly to a location and let's say pick up this Paynite for 240 units for uh, 240,000. And you pick up all these units and then you want to take them back to the best import location you can do that with this one here and make a um, uh, hundred and ten uh, thousand profit per ton so this is how you use those three major tools in uh, for elite dangerous and they are inara and this is inara.cz Miner Tools, or Miner's Tools, which is edtools.cc backslash miner. And the last one is eddb, and this is in your in the commodities section right here. So I hope this helps everyone out, and if you have any more questions about where to sell and how to sell, uh, you can DM me, so that's not a problem. So DM me in Discord. All right, take care, everyone. Bye-bye.